Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Well, good morning. It is a nice, quiet start to our day today, but it's a cold start as you're stepping outside this morning. The big coat definitely coming in handy, but by this afternoon, it is going to be much more of a mild day, and let's enjoy that because we do have a cool down coming the rest of this week and going into our weekend. How about a step outside here in Lee Heighton? No weather problems this morning. Headed to work. Kids are headed to the bus stop this morning. We're not running into any weather issues. Temperatures are in the 20s at best, right near the freezing mark in Hazleton. Mount Pocono 26, Pottsville 23, Sealands Grove coming in right at 20 this morning. So bundling up. Yes, cold front's going to drop in from the north later today as it does so. It'll slowly bring back some clouds this afternoon and this evening. As far as the snow is concerned, that's really hanging around in upstate New York. There's a lot of dry air in place right now, so any moisture that does try to get in just sort of ends up falling apart. That will end up changing tonight as a few flakes end up mixing in. But out ahead of that cold front, it's pretty mild. We're making our way to the lower, even the mid 40s for today. The average high is right around the lower 40s, so we're either right on par with, if not just above the average. It's a nice break as we get that little mild air today, but then the next few days, that's going to switch up on us. But with it staying dry, not a bad day to get the car washed. We will start to see some clouds toward the end of our day today, but a good amount of our day is going to be mostly sunny as temperatures work their way back to the mid 40s. Now let's look at the next five days and you can see the cool down that starts tomorrow, Friday and lasts right through this weekend. Those overnight lows are also going to drop into the teens so we can expect some cold mornings, chilly afternoons. But look what happens come Monday. We're getting back into the 40s. That'll get us back above average and then looking ahead with our extended outlook for the rest of next week, really from the Great Lakes all the way through New England, we're expecting temperatures to be above average. A warmer trend is what we continue to see as we go through next week. So that's certainly some good news as some more mild air will start to take over. It will be fairly similar, if not warmer, than what we're actually seeing today. We're in the mid 40s for the high in your eyewitness weather forecast. Call it mostly to partly sunny, and that's because as we get into the second part of our day, the clouds will slowly end up making a comeback. So don't be too surprised to see that toward the end of our day. Wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour, so it is a little breezy. 26 for the overnight low tonight. Clouds return, the front going through, a few flurries coming off of the lakes, maybe even a very isolated snow shower. Then the next couple of days, like we were saying yesterday, I know it looks kind of ominous, but with lake effect cloud cover, it's really hit or miss. So I know it looks like these days are going to be completely cloudy. We're locked in the clouds, we see no sunshine. I don't think that's necessarily going to be the case. There's definitely going to be times where we are stuck in the clouds, but we'll have breaks of sunshine. Temperatures are in the mid to the upper 30s. We're also not ruling out a lake effect flurry or snow shower in between all of these days, but that's not going to put down any accumulation. Sunday, we'll get some sun back. We're in the mid 30s. Monday into Tuesday, there's the warm up we were just talking about. Mid 40s Monday, then we pushed to near 50 come Tuesday. And don't forget the Eyewitness Weather app that can always be